You're watching Axe Flicks, and I'm your host, Christian Ackerman, and today we're going to be talking about how to get on the Internet Movie Database, or as you know it as, the IMDB. Okay, so here what we're going to be talking about is how to get your um, movie registered or you registered on IMDB. Um, a friend of mine, Sean from Malevolent Films, asked me, you know, hey, you should do an episode where you talk about this. And I just wanted to give them a shout out because um, they are filmmakers making movies right now. And... Um, but let's go uh, take a look at IMBD right now. And I'll kind of just kind of show you where, where you kind of go to get started. I'm not gonna go through all the steps. This is very basic. So here we are. And the idea is you have to become a pro or a resume uh, member, but let's go to um, you can log in with Facebook. I am a member, so I log in with my IMDB membership. But you can do this. Try. I've never tried these ways, but I've always done it this way. But this is where, and just to show you where, you, when you go to IMDB.com, go up here to login. When you hover over the login, click register, and then you can pick, you know, how to do it. You do all this here. Then you click register again, and it's just going to walk you through, and then it's going to ask you if you want to go into a um, the IMBD resume. So here we'll go. Um, so here's the IMBD. Well, they have pro, but you can just have a resume. And here's all the prices right here. Then once you've done that, you can log in. You log in now. So here's all our things. And see all my friends, see so you notice mine has a picture right now, which I should change. And all of these guys, they don't, is because they've been registered by either other people, other directors of other films they've been on, or they've been registered by myself. And they have to go in and make their own, they have to register themselves to IMBD, and then they can start adding pictures. The only time you can add pictures is when you're a paid member. So you have to be a paid member. And that's how you become part of IMBD. It's really simple. And now if your movie is, I'll use this as an example, um, if your movie is uh, being uh, distributed through CreateSpace or is on Amazon for in, uh, video um, on video on demand, um, and your movie, you've done the self-distribution -distri like I showed you guys in the last uh, previous episode or my first episode, of how to get um, do self distribution through Create Space. Um, once you're on video on demand, they actually IMBD takes the picture from Amazon, and they link people so they can, you can go and watch that movie right away, and it's really cool. And uh, so um, that's another. I didn't add this poster. That actually, you want to add a picture to your movie page. They actually it costs money to do that. But if you're already on Amazon Video on Demand. They just add it on, which is really sweet. But to register a new page, once you become a member, you can actually go to, we'll go back to imdb.com. Takes a moment. And then we go to, you can go to the help desk, go to help. And then right here, how do I add a new title? Click on that, it walks you through a step. New, new title submission form, you go there. And then you read all the fine guidelines and it gives you all the head heads up, a lot of stuff, and then you're ready to go. You go here and go, time to add your new title. Bam, you click on that and you go to business. And then when you're done, your title will be up right before you know it. Bam, there it is. So yeah, so that's what basically all you need to do. And then it does take time, it takes a little while. Sometimes it could take 10 days, sometimes it could take a month for something to go through. And if you haven't heard anything, sometimes they're really good, they'll get back to you um, and say, sorry, and unfortunately we can't register your film, or unfortunately we can't register your short film, and they kind of give you an explanation. And, um, but that doesn't mean don't stop. You don't stop at no, you just keep trying, keep being persistent, 
and um, you just keep re-registering until they pick it up. It just takes time. And so, um, but the key, th the, the two key things is being a member, like register yourself for f uh, a member. And I would say it really helps when you're a member to be at least a, a resume member. And then the second thing is um, to have your film somehow distributed. Um, if your film's distributed through like create space, that's a really good thing, or open film, it works. And if you have a friend who's willing, who already has an IMBD page, or he has access to it, um, sometimes you can request them, hey, can you add my movie? Um, and it doesn't mean like it might not even happen, even though your friend has access. If they register your movie and try to get it on IMBD for you, it's still IMBD can turn it away and turn it down. So it's it's kind of a give and take. You kind of have to just try when you can, and you can hopefully you'll succeed. Uh, there's a really cool movie out there. Um, it's so awesome. It's uh, it's a movie that makes me smile. It's called Manborg, a movie that's made to look like a '80s action sci-fi film, and it's a comedy. It's like a spoof, and and they're kind of spoofing uh, the old 80s movie Eliminators, Terminator 2, Mo Mortal Kombat, and some anime, and like uh, Mad Max, uh, you know, the apocalyptic sci-fi movies. And so they take all those movies, put it in a blender, and they take comedy and put that in there and spoof, and it's awesome. When I stuck this DVD in, and I, I actually bought this DVD before even seeing it, and I just saw the trailer, and I'm like, I'm buying that movie. I don't even care. I love this movie just based off the trailer. And so I bought the movie, went home, watched it, and I was just smiling from, you know, just the whole time. It was like I was laughing my head off. The comedy is awesome. And two, you stay tuned until, like back in the days, like the VHS days, when you would take a movie and it was a special edition VHS and you would stick it in that VCR and they would say, stay tuned after the feature for upcoming new films from this production company, you would do that. You would stay after, or they would sometimes have a like a interview or something like that. Well, this movie does that. They do exactly that. So you stick the DVD in, you hit play, and it starts up just like you're watching an old VHS um, uh, movie, and then they do that whole thing, like stay tuned after the feature for more to come from Astro 6 or whatever. And so they do that, and then you stay after all the credits run, and they have a thing for Biocop that is awesome. And then I listened to the audio commentary because I love this movie so much. I've been watching all the extra features and all this kind of stuff. But I watched the audio commentary and they said now because the little short fake long trailer, kind of like how Grindhouse did with Robert Rodriguez and um, Quentin Tarantino, they made these fake uh, trailers for the Grindhouse pictures. They're actually gonna turn it into a real film. So check it out, Manborg. Awesome movie. I totally suggest watching it with friends, especially if you're into those old 80s movies and you watch an 80s movie every once in a while, especially the sci-fi. You're going to love this movie. It's awesome. Well, thanks, Sean. Uh, Malevolent Films on Facebook. Check it out. And this has been an episode of Axe Flicks with Christian Ackerman.